Ever since Surfer Magazine published an article on the 10 best surf spots around the world, and Jeffreys Bay was one of them as a right hand point break, it's kind of been a surfer's dream. That's one of those destinations that they, they mark off on the map. When you're a kid, you always like look at a big map of the world and you go, I want to go here, 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 here. And Jeffreys Bay is definitely one of those places. Being part of the Blue Long Pro for me is massive. Um, I've been watching it every year since I've been 11 or 12 and always aspired to be in the event here at Supers. Lots of iconic stuff's gone down out here. I mean, the event's 25, it's six years older than I am. And being out there and surfing against the best guys in the world at one of the best waves, you know, it's a big deal for anyone and especially for us younger guys to get the chance to surf against the best in the world. It's such a wonderful wave to experience and, you know, and just the amount of speed that you generate and the distance that you cover, it's, it's, it's a beautiful wave and to be able to you know, surf that wave in an event is, is a dream. I'm glad that I get to surf my biggest event in my life so far and in a way that I feel comfortable and that I've surfed lots of times. 2009 was a great event for me. Um, I think I was really relaxed going into the event. I felt comfortable on the boards that I was riding. And then to match that, the waves were pretty fun as well. So we had good consistent waves over the period. I've pretty much just got my regular short board for on the smaller days, anything until about three, four foot. And um, I've got a rounded pin for obviously anything bigger. And, and then I've also got a step up for like, you know, the, Everyone knows the strong winds in winter and paddling strength and all of that. I'll be riding probably what I usually ride out of J Bay, maybe playing around with a few channels or clinker bottoms and then also a favourite rounded pin. Uh, but we'll see, it all depends on the conditions, depends on the size of the waves. I don't feel any pressure other than, you know, probably pressure that I build up for myself in the sense that, you know, I've surfed the event four or five times, four times, and I've consistently, you know, I make it to the quarters, I've made it to the semis before. But it's just to break that hurdle, you know, it's a mental block that I have, you know, once I get to the quarters of the semis. If anything, I think the support from, from the South African community and from Billabong and my sponsors has been phenomenal. And for that, I'm grateful and, you know, I just go out there and, and you know, have fun. Mm -hmm.